I can see this in the shop. Yeah. Maybe. Well, uh, you go ahead. No, that's all I can say. Is <laughs> I can see the no, shop. we were on our we were on, on our honeymoon, and uh, we were driving, and we we're headed towards the upper peninsula of Michigan. And along the way, we ran across the shop. It was called Kellogg's Pottery Shop, and it was a uh, right off the highway that we were driving on. Oh, let's stop and see what they've got. So we did, and it was a shop that uh, makes pottery like this, and it's all uh, cast pottery, not hand thrown. But then they had artists that would uh, decorate the surface, and we got two or three pieces. And this one is the one that I've always liked. How about you, Mary? Yes, yeah, so we had another one that was the same color, but was a little shorter. And mm -hmm. I don't know where that is now. Yeah, right. But anyway, so it's a bud vase, <laughs> I'd call it. And uh, the Kellogg Pottery is uh, no, no longer in business, uh, so this is a historical item but from a number of aspects. But you could mention the grandson, you know, that's related to the Kellogg Pottery. Which grandson is that? The grandson that's still potting. In North oh, yes, Indiana. yeah, right. <laughs> the, uh, uh, the grandson of Mr. Kellogg, who had this pottery, is a potter up in uh, Goshen, Indiana. No, so okay. the, it, but you never recognize his are all hand thrown. Mm -hmm. So this started us off. We didn't have any money. We were in graduate school, and uh, couldn't even afford, you know, a trip to the islands or whatever it was. Drive up to the Upper Peninsula <laughs> in Michigan, and uh, we had a nice honeymoon. And uh, this is our memory in part of that. Mm -hmm. We also purchased a couple of platters for one for his mother and one for my mother mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. from the same place. But anyhow, that's how it all began. 